WFAN. Headline news update. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman. Yeah, this is the TFNN Noon Update. I am the host of the Tiger Technicians Hour coming up straight after this update and the author of the opening call daily newsletter. Dow was down 400 points in the futures last night. It came screaming back and then it kind of stalled and then it was stalling. It was kind of waiting, waiting, waiting. And then uh, after, during, in fact, the uh, Trump uh, announcement of uh, just a clarification of exactly what was going on, the market started to move higher, and now it's up 204. It's still under the 28,872 all-time high of the 2nd of uh, January. And I was looking at this and saying there's a chance that maybe we will get this little doji candle from last week of 28,872. We won't make a new high this week. Maybe we might just nick it next week. That's still two and a half days to go. I think that's a long time in the marketplace. Um, and then we get that leg D, and then we're ready for some kind of a pullback. But in the meantime, back in the ranch, let's just say that the resistance right now, we're at 28,786, about 100 points higher. You get to the all-time high. So within about 150 points, I think, we'll start to hit resistance again. This is a reflex rally. But look at these green bars. One, two, three, five. Five green bars out of the last six sessions. That's really quite something with all that volatility. S&P did make a new all-time high. At this point, it's trading, it's trading up uh, 22 at uh, 32.59. New leg E and leg D in the weekly chart, monthly chart, and all of these are still looking very good. The composite index, that's the index 100. I'll talk about it a little bit more in my show. I had a question about it. The QQQ is 217.20, all-time high leg E in the daily, leg D in the weekly. And we're always looking for those D to say, let's put the yellow light on because you can go higher, but this is where you've got to be a little cautious. So it's just gone above that. IWM is having a nice, well, it had a nice rally. Now it's up 85 cents at 165.65. There's Still lagging badly, the 167.12i. Now look at gold. Gold is, was intraday 16.13. It's trading now at 15.59. Uh, that doesn't sound like all that much, but it's one of the biggest candles we've had in the day, daily basis for gold in a long time. And the dollar, funnily enough, is moving up. It's up 25 ticks at 97.23. I'll talk about crude oil. Crude oil got smashed in the downside. It's down 4%. I'll talk about it when we get back. Basil Chapman, Tiger Ignition's Hour, coming up straight after this break.